grab those drinks. It is time to join the KTLA 5 Live Facebook group for 5th o'clock happy hour. We have very special guests tonight. Great. So excited. Today on 5th o'clock happy hour, Blind Barrel. It is a blind whiskey tasting experience that just launched here in Southern California. Here to tell us more about the whiskeys we tried last night, Bobby DeMars, CEO of Blind Barrels and partner in Blind Barrels, Frank Kramer from Heidi and Frank on 95.5 KLON. Hey, what's, what's up, up, guys? Cheers, gents. Happy Friday. Happy Friday Toast. to you. So tell us all about this. What is Blind Barrels? How does blind tasting work? Uh, we're not just glugging these down like normal whiskey. There's actually an interactive element to For it. For example, I have B here. What should we know about Blind Barrels? So, you know, some people drink whiskey. You know, I think it helps it when you're tasting whiskey. And so during quarantine, my buddy was doing blind samples. And I just fell in love with the process of you know, discovering what you like rather than being told what you like. You know, there's brands you spend a lot of money on or mm. certain brands that you just convince yourself are amazing. And there's amazing small craft brands out there that people can't get and that people should know about. And I mean, Frank's from a small town, so he knows exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah, I'm also a Hoosier. Woo! And I could really down, yes, <laughs> West Terre Haute, Indiana, 5,000 people. So when I got my opportunity, someone gave me an opportunity. I've been in L.A. for 30 years now doing the Heidi and Frank show on 95.5 KLOS. And I've, and I've been given opportunities to bands, local bands who don't have labels, to play their music on the radio. So we are basically giving the rock stars of whiskey, uh, these small distilleries around America, an opportunity to get in front of people who love whiskey and taste them. And there's some fine American whiskeys out there that you can't get on the shelves here in Los Angeles. So we're trying to connect that grain to glass distiller with the whiskey buyer, the connoisseur. Yeah, this you is, can see yeah. we tried it last night, Bobby. What'd yeah, you think? I was just gonna, so I, I, I think I could say with confidence, I'm probably the biggest whiskey drinker in this room. Okay. And as you guys mentioned, I, I, run in, I run into that problem a lot where I'll go to a place, I'll kind of go after the same whiskeys that I know are tried and true. And I see on the shelves a lot of other distilleries that I would like to try, but I'm not really willing to shell out 30, 40, 50, 60 bucks on something I haven't tried before. This seems like a great opportunity to kind of like open up someone's world uh, of whiskey and, and try new things and discover different flavors, especially from these craft distilleries that you mentioned that are abundant now, uh, where some people may not realize that they're all over the world now. Yeah, there's 2,500 of them. We're in the second whiskey boom right now. And I gotta tell you, not everybody in the craft industry is amazing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hops, you know, they're like, they, they, they distilled it like gin and they threw in some hops and they, we're going to finish it in the, you know, the water cask and why not? And it's like, all right, that's interesting. Let's put it in tequila cask next time. Spice it up. And so it's like, a little bit crazy. And so in the box, if you look, the insert, it tells you a little bit about some facts. Yeah, we have it here with, we all have our, ins, our, our, our mine's gone. Uh, we all have our little insert here. We were following this last night while we were tasting, but we did not scan the QR code because we did not want to spoil it. No, we, we didn't want to find out what could... we had in these these here bottles. But that's how it works, right? You basically you get your friends together, uh, cool. crack them open, have a couple sips, decide what you like, and then you scan what the QR code, and then it tells you where to go to find it and, and what, what you had. Exactly. You know, there's there's different mash bills. Mash bills really the recipe of whiskey. There's there's wheats, there's rye. You know, everyone thinks they're bourbon, and then you let them try a rye that's not spicy, and then you can change their mind. There, you know, there's American single malt that's out there. There's uh, four grains that are out there. There's some small brands that are doing some amazing stuff. And what happens with distribution is they can't get outside their circle because there's the, the distillers. Some say prohibition never really ended. And what happens is distribution. If you're not paying these guys on the grounds to get in the store shelves, you can't get any of these brands in your local store. Mm. They're rock stars at 50 miles, like like Frank was saying, but they can't really get. So this is really about access. Um, it's about education. It's about whiskey culture. And look, good whiskey at the end of the day is meant to be shared. That's it's what this is about. Cool. It's very fun. Frank, I got to ask you: Is 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 Malort going to end up in any of these bottles <laughs> anytime soon? Oh no. no, no, I will never put a bottle of Malort in there. It's <laughs> away from um, I got to try it for the first time at 6 a.m. on St. Patrick's Day 2020. Yeah, that's why COVID started. I was patient zero. Okay, before we wrap up, I got to ask, why should people act now to get in on this first month of this new business? How exciting. We're at the forefront of blind barrel tastings. So this lineup, there's only about a week left to sign up, and we only have about 100 spots left. Um, this will never happen again. This isn't like you order now, it comes next week. It happens every three months and everybody gets the same box at the same time. Mm. So friends, family, look, we've all been disjointed with quarantine. 
This is going to bring everybody together over some amazing whiskey. And these lineups will never happen again. June, every single lineup, I'm telling you, you're going to be surprised. You're going to like all these things, and you're going to fall in love with a couple of them. And you're going to find some brands out there and some small town distillers that are making some amazing whiskey. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. So what where cool can we way. go to find out more and where can we go to sign up? Go to Blind Barrels. Blindbarrels.com. Sign up. Like you said, every three months you're going to get a box just like this with four different uh, tasters in it. And you get access to those bottles, the stories about the distilleries, where they're from. Like I said, these are the finest small American distilleries that, that, that are out there. And so you're going to have a whiskey collection a shelf that you can't find anywhere. So that's why it's uh, exclusive. It's it's limited because there's only, there's only so much that can go around. Okay, right? when we can okay. meet up in person, because we can't drink yes. in the studio. No. We, you have to walk us through whiskey and show us some of your favorites Please. in person. We'll all sit next to each other and we'll go through the tasting notes to see if our palate is correct. Ooh, How about that? Good deal. <laughs> yeah, don't start with D, it's a little hot. Okay. <laughs> I made that mistake last night. I think we all did. Oh, <laughs> we're all right. I, I would not call that a mistake. <laughs> yeah, no, we I had like a good time. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much. Uh, blindbarrels.com, that's where you can find this. We appreciate you guys being on the show.